Are you wondering whether Smartsheet can be used offline? Perhaps you've got a period coming up where you know you won't be able to access the internet. Maybe you have regular outages, or maybe you just want to know, considering it is an online platform first and foremost. Well, either way, I'm here to answer the question, and I'm gonna do that right now. So, can Smartsheet be used offline? Well, unfortunately, at time of recording, so this is May 2022, it is not possible to use Smartsheet offline. Now, I know that this is something that many different customers have raised to Smartsheet, and there's many enhancements that have been submitted to them for this functionality, and it would be very, very useful. But as I say, at the time of recording, it is not possible. So there's nothing that you can do in that respect. So if you don't have access to the internet, you're not gonna be able to log in and you're not gonna be able to update uh, sheets and save data. But there is a workaround that I would just like to walk you through now and just run through some um, things to consider with this as well. So what I've done is I've just created a, a sheet and I've entered some, some dummy columns. So obviously it's blank, but this could be a sheet with, with data in. So what I would recommend doing, if you know you've got a period of um, of time where you won't have access to the internet, but you still want to work. What I would do is ahead of time, so where you do still have internet access, I would export your sheet to Excel. So hopefully you do have Excel um, that you can work with in the meantime. If not, you can always go with Google Sheets. Um, the process would be the same and Google Sheets um, is another option. But again, Google Sheets does require internet access. So again, it might not be useful um, in that context. So I'm gonna walk through the option of, of Microsoft Excel. So firstly, export to Microsoft Excel. Um, you're gonna see it kind of appear in your download feed at the bottom. So you'd do this ahead of time. And then what you would do is you would open this sheet. So let's assume I've now lost access to the internet. Um, we'd enable some editing. Um, so I can go in and I can start adding data. So let's say I haven't got access to, to, to the internet at the time. Now I would work as I normally would in Smartsheet. So let's say I want to populate, I'm just gonna populate um, row two, just to give you an example of how this would work. So let's call this, um, I don't know, right? Uh, no, we won't put right, we'll put draft, project plan. Very, very simple. That's myself, so I'm gonna put that down as, as the name of this channel. Uh, we it doesn't really require a description, but let's just say you want to complete first version of project plan. The task status. Let's say we are currently in progress. It's being it's being conducted. Um, you know we're, we're underway, and so task action is going to say no. Uh, uh, sorry, yes, yes, we've we've got it going. Um, in in a if we're doing another one, it might be no. Um, you know, another another task, we might not be there yet, but let's just say we're, we're, we're conducting this, we're in, in the process. So this would be um, our sheet, and this is what we've kind of added. Um, one thing I'd quickly mention before I proceed is that in this sheet here, you can see that one of the column properties is a drop down, and we've got a yes, I've set it up with a yes and no. Um, and the reason I've done that is just to show you that it won't appear in the export. So you, you do need to bear that in mind. Um, so if you do have some kind of, um, yeah, drop downs and you really, perhaps it's been set up with restricted drop down values only, you may run into some issues. So I, I just want to bring this to your attention. You kind of need to be mindful of any, um, yeah, any of these kind of things in the sheet before you, before you proceed. But that's kind of a, a side point. Let's say we've, we've got this. Now we've got access to the internet, we've, we're back in the office or, or you know, our internet issue has been resolved and um, we've worked on this offline version. Now, what would you do? Now what you, essentially you'd save it up as you normally would. So I'm gonna just save this in a, in a, in a place. Uh, let's just save this to downloads. I'm gonna call it the original version. So we've saved this, it's all saved in Excel. Now what you would do when you have access again to Smartsheet is you'd go into the sheet, you'd go file, import, import Microsoft Excel, and you select that file that you've been working on. So, find it, make sure it's there, press continue, and you will see at this stage, the sheet name's the same, column headers, so you wanna select obviously the row that contains your column headers, and you'll see the data that I've populated in Excel. Um, and the 
the header values, we want the primary column to be tasked, that's what it was, include formulas and import. So you can do that as well if you did want to add some formulas while you're in Excel. Um, but press import and you'll see that now all the data has been added. So it's not ideal, you can't you know, work with Smartsheet when you're offline, but you can work offline and then get the data back into Smartsheet when you have access again. So I just wanted to show you that workaround. Hopefully it was useful to you. If you have any questions about this process, please drop a question in the comment section down below. And please do hit this, hit the like button if this video was useful. Uh, that tells me I should continue making videos like this. And do hit the subscribe button um, and head over to my channel. I've got over 55 videos at time of recording um, on Smartsheet training and other questions related to Smartsheet that you may have. So do check out those videos. It may be really, really useful if you're considering using Smartsheet for your organization or have just started using it. So with that said, I hope you have an excellent day.